alluded earlier to Snyder having a negative reputation, and I know there's been some controversy among other NFL team owners, with the Colts owner saying in October that given some of the allegations around workplace mismanagement that Snyder should not be the owner of the team. For folks who've kind of been following that, how related is that activity to this announcement today? Like, did they push him out? Can they push him out? Or is this entirely autonomous? I I don't think that uh, Roger Goodell who's the commissioner of the NFL, uh, and a lot of the other owners are looking to push out Dan Snyder. I I think in some of these situations that have popped up and some of the allegations, they've proven to have been planted, actually, into the Washington Post. As you remember, Dan Snyder, maybe two years ago, bought out his three minority investors in the team. It was found that they were and the investment bank they were working for because they were trying to buy out Dan Snyder were actually planting misinformation. So I I, I think that when you step away from a lot of the day-to-day noise, I think Dan is pretty secure as owner. I think it's really up to him whether he wants to sell or get out uh, stay or stay into the team. it's, it's hard to really tell some of these allegations. You know, the fact that they're there in D.C. and, he's, and you know, they're, they're dragging stuff before Congress and stuff like that. Politics, as you know as well as anyone, Maggie, you know, can be a very dirty game. Everyone's got an agenda. So it's, it's really hard to tell from the outside knowing what's exactly true, what's not. I can tell you from the business side and from the rep he has with advertisers and sponsors, that uh, the rebranding has certainly gone well uh, and that the business side of the team is, is definitely booming. So you reported this news today. We talked about what the fans want to see, what the rumors are about the new owner. What is next? What can we expect to see out of this space in the next one, two, three weeks? I think you're going to see a tremendous amount of stuff sort of breaking over the next days and weeks about people who might be interested, people who are interested, a lot of comments from a lot of rich people in terms of would they want to buy this team. Now, you got to remember, it's, it's, this is going to have to be like a Forbes rich list type person because whomever buys the team and is going to be the managing partner, they have to basically uh, put down 30% of the equity per NFL rules. So, you know, there's not a lot of debt on this team. So you're talking about somebody like, look at Rob Walton when he bought the Denver Broncos, $4.65 billion. There's a mega billionaire, right? A guy's worth, what, $50 billion? We're talking about somebody that's going to have that type of money if they're going to buy controlling interest in the team. So it's not going to be like a Tom Hanks or a Tom Brady or, I you know, Brady's otherwise occupied at the moment, but it's not going to be a celebrity. It will be someone from the Forbes 400 or something I, I like wouldn't, that. You know what, Maggie? I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. In fact, I would expect some uh, some Hollywood types and people like that to be investors in the team, but probably not the controlling owner. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Maggie.